Gordon, I don't know about you, but I have not liked Alienware's design what? aesthetic I for a love while. I love Alienware's design aesthetics. It's, it's a little and big. Okay, it's a little I got chunky. it. It is pretty big. This is, of course, the classic Alienware 15. 15 inch laptop that looks like it's in a 17 inch body, it's big bone. You get that, right? But plenty of performance. You got power, you got power. And where it says, yeah, we've heard all your complaints. We went back, we said, all of your whining, we're gonna go take another look at this and we're gonna do this. Whoa. The brand new Alienware M15. Let me just hold this baby up and you can see the difference. It's amazing. That's why when you, this wait, one is wait, a 15 this is, inch. This is a 13 inch, what are you talking yes, about? Yes, I know, it looks like a 13 inch laptop, but it isn't, it's actually for Alienware. This is a 15, let's open up, take a look. Wow, whole, uh, new, whole new design. Whole new design. Um, what the, about power, did they, did they decrease anything in power? So that's the thing, Alienware says, hey, we're Alienware, we know gamers don't wanna give up on performance, you don't wanna give up on all the good stuff we offer. Even though it's smaller, Alienware says this laptop on top, the M15, will actually perform on par with your previous Alienware 15. I mean, look at that. Look that's, at this, the decrease big. in size. And of course, a lot of this is getting rid of the bezels. We have narrow bezels on the side. We have a camera on the top. But you got to figure we got to do something to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. This keyboard is actually a little shallower. I believe they're saying it's 1.8 millimeters of travel. How does it, it feel? It's not bad. It is certainly not butterfly bad. It is it's not like the maglev keyboard in the XPS 15. It feels okay. I mean, honestly, um, 1.8 millimeters is pretty standard on most Ultrabooks. I don't mind that at all. And this is the first 15 inch with a uh, yeah, number 10 from Alienware. Countenance. So uh, tell Bill Lumberg, you need this. This is exactly what you want in corporate accounting. Need in corporate accounting wants this. Uh, you lose the macro keys inside, the they go up here, you lose the buttons on the trackpad. But here's the thing. You're wondering, do you really get all the performance? Alienware says we're gonna offer this as the i5, i7. I don't see i9, but you could possibly see that in the future. But i5, i7, six core Coffee Lake H CPU. For graphics, 1060 full tilt, 1060 not max Q, as well as a 1070 max Q option on the high end. For the panel, uh, 1080p, 144 hertz. But like uh, a lot of other vendors are saying, you know what, we're not going to do G Sync this time. And of course, the reason is when you have to have G Sync, you have to have last line out from the discrete GPU. That means you can never turn off the GeForce GTX card inside you lose battery life. And they're saying, hey, this thing is so portable, you are gonna bring it with you. So we would rather give you better battery life, even though you don't get uh, G-Sync, but you do get a 144 hertz panel, which is kind of nice if you have a 1070 Max Q, because you can probably push those frame rates. But check this out. On the bottom, it is heavily vented. You can also sort of see through these vents, can you get it? Oh, you can almost. see the massive amount of heat pipes. There it is. There's actually separated heat pipes for the 1060 and 1070 Max Q. There's one shared heat pipe for the CPU and one dedicated heat pipe for the CPU. So there's also a combination of heat pipes and vapor chambers. Alienware says, yeah, we know you want your cooling. You don't want a 15 inch laptop with a single shared heat pipe for a gaming laptop or a high end laptop. Like who? Some companies. Oh, oh. Uh, so they're saying because of this, these are all intake, they suck all the air in, they blow it out the back, they're going to blow it out the top. And the sides, yeah. And the sides. You've got, you've got heat you everywhere. you get all the performance you can. You can extract everything from uh, that Coffee Lake H and the 1060, 1070. Let's check out the ports though. Yeah, well, I, what, is, what is this? What is that? Let's check this out. First, let's start over here. Oh. Two Type A's. Adam, don't jump ahead of the script. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Over here, another two Type A's. A cur oh, no, sorry. Gigabit Ethernet, Type A. A courageous analog audio port, a noble lock, yes. You got Kingston locks, throw them away. Dell's gone all in on noble lock. I don't know why, but hey, makes sense. On back, standard Dell. Power brick is supported. I think 7.5 millimeter barrel for you know high wattage. You can't do USB PD over this. You can't run this kind of level on USB PD yet. And full HDMI 2.0, uh, mini display port, a Thunderbolt 3 port. 
and this. Yes, it is a port for the Alienware amplifier, which is still on the market for stupidly good prices. You know, some of those Thunder, Thunderbolt 3 external GPU enclosures, they're three to four hundred dollars, some of them. Pretty expensive. The amplifier is still a good deal, big, but for 170 bucks, it's not bad. That lets you run your external GPU on there. And I know you're saying, but, 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 Thunderbolt 3, it's the future. Alienware says if the cabinet supports it, this Thunderbolt 3 port will also work with other Thunderbolt 3 cabinets. So you can sort of get your best of both worlds. If you want to cheap out, build an amplifier for 175 bucks, I'd rather spend it on my GPU than the box. It's not a bad deal. And if the future is all about external GPU over Thunderbolt 3, this should work as well. So none of your butts. So they got both. It's both <laughs> better than have both. Yeah. We don't want to hear about your butts. Well, why don't you lay it side by side just so we can see the It is just amazing, right? Side by side, open it up. Because it's it's pretty crazy. It's crazy to get. This is really, this is gonna compete with, you know, a lot of those other 15 inch super small laptops. Obviously what's gone are the cool lights. I, you know, I love the lights. Oh yeah, the lights. You know, no, I didn't. that takes up space. You and, don't uh, get the lights yeah, on the, the side. The trackpad the, doesn't light the track up. Pass. I mean, this is a cool feature, the little trackpad, but that all takes up space. You really can't do that. You get this thin, it's gotta be compromised. So I guess if you want those features, you go big. 17. If you want the portability of this laptop, go with this. Oh, also inside for storage, two M.2s, a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD is also supported. If you go with the hard drive option, battery is 60 watt hours. And uh, if you go with just nothing but M.2 SSDs, you get a bigger battery. So you can get up to, I think, about 80 watt hours. So 80 watt hours on this laptop, you're probably going to get very decent battery life. So it's gonna be something you can really use on the road. Hey, it's a nice step up. I mean, look at the, just the difference. It's amazing. You know, One Gordon, I, I, think, uh, yeah, I think I might be a fan of Alien Design now. I, I have been a fan of it, you know, all of it since the old days. Of course, everybody's the iconic Alien or symbol, but you know, it really is just sort of like, this was very much like an Edsel, built like a tank. You pick this thing up, this is like Soviet tank, is what it is like. <laughs> Soviet tank, okay? This is something a lot more modern, a lot smaller, something you're going to bring with you. But you're still not giving up power, you're, you're not giving up ports. We'll see, that's what they say, Alienware so far. I've been delivering a lot of those numbers that their, uh, their mouth is writing, so we'll, let's see. It's nice, we'll have to see how this stacks up against the competition. I'm pretty sure this is going to be faster than the MacBook Pro 15 though, so. But that's yeah. a different story now, isn't it? Uh, available in November. Target price, that means starting with base units probably. Uh, 1100 bucks, last thing I want to mention, it is upgradable, there are Phillips screws on the bottom. Pull them off, Alienware says if you open it up and you want to put your own drives in there, we want to avoid your warranty, unlike some companies. So, thumbs up. good deal there. Cool, thanks Gordon.